Sheila McLemore, number 22. Cross the river, round the bend, happy stranger, so long friend. There's a voice in the lonesome wind that keeps whispering. spine and broken skull, pressed cruelly from the mangled frame of what used to be my Volkswagen Passat. My head began to spin and my body to feel light as a feather. By the time the pain had subsided, giving way to this euphoric feeling, something almost unworldly. All I could see was a slight, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm going to the other side now. I could have swore I saw an angel in the distance beckoning me forth, assuring me it would be okay. Let go, I whispered airily, let go. Well, the angel turned out to be a 220-pound unshaven paramedic with a flashlight screaming at me to unclench my hands from the steering wheel so they could extricate my contorted body from the wreckage, which apparently is about to explode. Go figure. <laughs> Cranial trauma and blood loss can really muddle your cognitive abilities, I guess. Gayla Macklemore, 22. Thank you. Hi, my name's Meg Flinders. I'm number nine. I will flip it around so you can actually see it. There we go. <laughs> I want so much to say, okay, I love you too. I will, but not today. You know, I know you do. And though it's hard, you must control your heart and trust. I want to be with you, just not now. You silly boy. <laughs> of course! <laughs> Why, we've been engaged for the last three months. Yes, it will be exactly three months on Thursday. <laughs> well, ever since dear Uncle Jack first confessed to us that he had a younger brother who was very wicked and bad, you, of course, have formed the chief topic of conversation between myself and Miss Prism. And, of course, <laughs> a man who is often talked about is always very attractive. One feels there must be something in him after all. I dare say it was foolish of me, but I fell in love with you, Ernest. Thank you. Hello. My name is David, or DJ Click, and today I will be playing Tom Wingfield from the Glass Menagerie, and I will be singing Be the Hero from Big Fish, and I am number 10. You're right. I'm not going to the movies, I'm going to opium dens. Yes, opium dens. Dens of vice and criminals hangouts, mother. I've joined the Hogan gang. I'm a hired assassin. I carry a Tommy gun and a violin case. I run a string of cat houses in the valley. They call me Killer. Killer Wingfield. I wear a patch over one eye and a false mustache. Sometimes I put on green whiskers. On those occasions, they call me El Diablo. I could tell you things to make you sleepless. My enemies plan to dynamite this place. They're gonna blow us all sky high some night. I'll be glad, very happy, and so will you. We go up, up on a broomstick or a blue mountain with 17 gentlemen collars, you ugly, babbling old witch. What if I told you you could change the world with just one thought? 
What if I told you you could be a king? Anything you desired, boy, anything on a plate, all within your power to create. I know somewhere in the darkness there's a story meant for me where I always know exactly what to say. I know. Thank you. The bell tone. Yes, yeah, sing first. Yes. Slate. Sorry. Slate. Oh, Slate. Yeah, my name is Alex, and I'm number 28. <laughs> ah, I'm in love. I'm in love. And isn't it a crime? Isn't it a crying shame that the love of my life should have to be another man's wife? Well, I'm sorry for the guy, but there's nothing I won't try to win the one true love of my whole life. Perchance you think a treasure trunk, sans the treasure, has put my piratical BVDs in a twist. How wrong you are. Why, yes, I'd hoped to be hip deep in diamonds, but they're a poor substitute for what I really crave. A bona fide hero to make me feel whole. For without a hero, what am I? Half a villain, a pirate in part, ruthless but toothless. And then I saw you and I thought, would he, for example, give up something precious for the one he loves so? But alas, he gives up sand. Now let's see. A hero with treasure, very good. A hero with no treasure, doable. No hero and a trunk full of sand, not so much. <laughs> now where's my treasure? Thank you guys. Alex Crossland, number 28. Hello everyone, my name is Austin Russell, number 39. I'm alone in the universe, so alone in the universe. I found magic, but they don't see it. They all call me a lunatic. Okay, so I'm a lunatic. If I stand on my own, so be it. Cause I have wings, yes I can fly around the moon and far beyond the sky and someday soon i know there you'll be one small voice in the universe one true friend in the universe who believes in me hello hello Sorry, it's just that well, I've been guarding your clover for over a week, getting laughed at for thinking a dust speck can speak. I'm Horton, the elephant. No, I, I'm real, not a very large thing. I am real. I would state that in ink. I was certain, though, Wendy, I heard your voice call, but a person's a person, no matter how small. What do you mean? How can you be certain I'm real? Look. I have a crick in my tail and a cramp in my toes. And I'm sitting on who knows what trail, doing, well, and where who is, who knows? Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Max Falls. I'm number 76. If you could sing and dance, you know we'd have it made. I'd buy a second chance and get my life replayed. And I'd stay fighting as long as Marciano stayed. I still might, but tonight my nose ain't broken. Prudence, I believe one should just act, without thought, without reason, just act on instinct. I mean, think of all the people who become heroes during terrible disasters. They don't stop to fret and pick things apart. No, they just move on sheer adrenaline. So, so why don't we think of our lives as some sort of 
uncontrollable disaster. And then why don't we act on instinct and adrenaline? <laughs> I mean, doesn't that just make you want to go out and get married? <laughs> and, and you should really have kids now because soon you'll be at the end of your childbearing years. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I don't mean to be mean bringing that up, but it is a reality. Uh, I mean, I may be your last chance. Uh, I mean, maybe no one else will want to marry you until you're 40. Oh, uh, we have so little time left to ourselves. We've just got to go out and grab it before it's gone. Thank you. Maxwell's uh, 76. <laughs>